No, an electron does not exist in two places at once. In quantum mechanics, we have a superposition of what exactly? Well, it's not a superposition of having several values at the same time. That's a common misconception. Instead, it's a superposition of measurement results. So what does this mean? Instead of location, let's look at the spin of an electron because it's easier to visualize. Here's an electron and we don't know what spin it has, so we build a detector. The best we can do is to measure the spin along an axis and we get either a spin up or a spin down with respect to that axis. When the electron interacts with the detector, it is forced to take on one of those two values, up or down. So after this measurement, the electron is spin up. If we make a second measurement, we can only get one result, spin up. So, does it mean that there is no superposition? Well, it depends. And it doesn't depend on the electron, but on the detector. Let's start the same way as before. But then the second detector will measure not spin up, but spin left or spin right. If you know your quantum mechanics, you know that in this case, left and right each have a 50-50 chance. In this case, we got left. So we have two situations. First, we have a spin up electron that is for sure a spin up with respect to an up down detector. Second, we again have a spin up electron, same state, but now it's in a superposition with respect to a different detector. Superposition is not a property of the electron. Instead, it mathematically describes the relationship between the electron state and some detector. Quantum mechanics does not say that the electron is both pointing left and pointing right at the same time. Instead, it says that when the electron interacts with the second detector, it will be forced to be left or right. For more videos on relativity and quantum physics, go to physicsisnotweird.com.